All right, today I'm going to show you how to use Amazing Slow Downer uh, when you're practicing uh, leading up to a gig, concert, or just for practicing with really any audio file. So you'll notice that this symbol ASD in blue, that's the one you want. You do not want the green. Sorry, it's a little blurry. My webcam uh, is just not picking this uh, screen up well. So anyways, you want to purchase this app. It is $15, but it is more than worth it. Uh, and then once you purchase and you open the app, then you will come to a screen that looks like this. Now when you upload your songs into this app, they will appear in the Other Songs folder and then Inbox. And then you'll see your track listed here. So now what we're going to do is go back to Dropbox. Let's pretend that um, you haven't uploaded the file yet. And we're going to go to one of my student files. Let's see here. Sure, we'll use this example. So you're going to go to your Dropbox account. And then you're going to go to your practice track. Make sure that you pick one that says final. Okay, in this case, it's final with piano. So we're going to click on that. It's going to start playing in the background. Of course, you can do this from your computer. Um, actually, I'm sorry. You can do this uh, from uh, an iPhone, an iPad. You can also do this with the Android, uh, any phone or tablet. So it's for both devices. We're going to go, we're going to export the file. You're going to see some options here. You're going to pick open in. And I know it's you can't really see anything here, but it says exporting right there. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to find, this basically shows you all the available apps you can open it in. So we're going to open it up in Amazing Slow Downer. Okay, and then you will see it right at the very top, the new one. So you'll just click on it, either on your phone or your tablet, on either iOS or Android device, and then you'll see the main screen. All right, so now in the main screen here, you don't need to worry about this top part, the mix. Uh, the pitch, that's for if you want to transpose the pitch. Don't worry about that. The main component here for practice is speed. And so when I play this track, I can slow it down. I'll slow it down to 80%. Hardly no losses at all. And speed it up once you get it to 80 and go up to 90 and of course you can go back up to 100% okay so that's really the major feature here but there's a lot of other things you can do so really quickly if you want to work on a section of the song you click on this uh, this little button here that opens up a looping feature and so now you see this word start this is the beginning of a loop. So let's say if you want to work just on the chorus. Well, you need to first find the chorus. So we're going to go until we find the chorus. One, two, three. All right, so see the counter, 102. So I'm going to put my start at 102. And you'll see that at the very end here. That's the start. And then we're just going to find the end of the chorus, because that's all we want to work on. This is if you want to work on a, just a section of a piece. So you just have to listen to it. One, two, three, four, pause, 158. That's the end. So we're going to take the end time to 158. It's really easy to do. It's actually kind of fun. All right, now you have this here, this is your loop. 
and it will just continuously to loop around. Of course, once we have our loop, we can change the speed. Then we can save the loop. We can actually store that loop so we can come back to it later. All right, so uh, hopefully all of my students that have this app are working with it, uh, practicing for Summer Jam, and you can also do this with really anything else, any audio file, uh, doesn't matter what style of music it is.